evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for game number two of your double header as we see St. Clair Academy go up against University of New Haven. It should be an exciting matchup as we get Invasion Hardpoint started off hot and ready like a Little Caesars pizza. I am joined by OG Buns in the booth. Buns, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm actually liking the names on the University of New Haven. Or far quad no the bevo kevo it's actually hilarious uh yeah no i definitely excited for this matchup st Clair looked really strong in their first match of this double header and already starting on the gate swinging pieces finding to piecing them up like he's used to righteous trying to get some shots down but pieces turns and burns on the point soaking up as much time as he can on his p1 wall the rest of his team's rotating over to that p2 as well pieces 4-0 start to his name rare getting some cutoff kills with the help of Siri as well as factions finding one over towards this bulldozer to P2 Hill pop St. Clair with an early lead yeah a really solid start exactly what we have seen from St. Clair this evening a 43 and 0 start with everyone popping off for these four kills make it five for Siri make it six on the five street rare sitting at two and oh you able to take down Siri, shut down that streak at least for the moment. But New Haven struggling thus far, to say the least, in uh, this hard point matchup. We're holding on the tank, looking to pepper in some shots with factions creeping in on the objective. As again, St. Clair just annihilating their opponents tonight, not letting their foot off the gas because they are cooking with it as they take a 6 2 lead. They have a full point over New Haven already. Nobevo holding over here on a big P3 money hill, but rotating in unawares. Rare able to clear house almost too easily on that one, Buzz. Yeah, I mean, it's been lights out for Tanks Clay so far. We're, already, we're only in the third hard point in this invasion. Rare 5 0 start. Pieces. Popping pieces again. Insane stuff from St. Clair to kick off this invasion hard point. Again, only in this third hard point here. About to hit the 100 point threshold as pieces is still going on a four. Looking to find a few more over towards that convoy, but not able to do so. Lord Farquaad pushing up towards this A Street. Siri, though, ready and waiting in laundry, able to continue to clear these players from the University of New Haven away from that point. And St. Clair have only allowed two points on the board for their opponents as factions still cutting off kills towards that a street as well looking for that rotation to p4 this has been all st Clair, and yeah it's, i mean not a whole lot to say see yeah, no, on the I'm, tank I'm as well feeling, is popping off i feel like i'm watching rocky 4 and i can't throw in the towel for uh, apollo creed it's just let it go let it go new haven a 130 to 2 differential with no signs of slowing down, Righteous picking up Siri. There are a few signs of hope from the New Haven squad, but St. Clair just seems to be on a whole nother level. The KD alone should show that to you, ladies and gentlemen, as University of New Haven had a combined 12 kills. Make it 14 now, if my math serves me right, as uh, Siri uh, pretty much has the same amount of kills as all of New Haven combined. It's not looking good for New Haven as they have struggled to get on the point. This is just, this is rough. This is rough to watch, and I will not sugarcoat this because New Haven, you got to hear it. You've got to step up here and now on this D5 rotation. You got to make something happen, string together a couple of kills, and set up some defense, learn, adapt, find something because this is just like leading the lamb to slaughter, and it is not looking good rough for this new haven squad i am sure i've been in these situations before buns and it is never fun yeah i can say i've definitely been in the situation maybe once but it's not fun to be on the losing end of the situation that's for sure new haven they're trying to push through that street trying to get some sort of momentum going here is lord far able to find one righteous able to find two there factions and pieces before a trade yeo able to take one out as well before pieces doing what he does best and that's finding two here you're gonna be the last one in the back unfortunately evo kevo not able to find it here in the back there so 
Still a solid hold from St. Clair. Um, the University of New Haven, they are averaging one point per hard point. So not really something you want to see if you're a fan of them. St. Clair really looking to end it here on this P1. And I do say so myself, I definitely think it's going to happen. All of them finding their kills. And yeah, it's just been an absolute slaughter, like you said, rare. On nice. this tank, trying to find some kills as well, but again, rare. Excuse me. Oh, rare. I thought you were calling me rarity for a second, Buns. I got, I got a little confused, but yeah, we got a player named Rare in here as it's a <laughs> over 200 point differential, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm New Haven, I do not want to go to search and destroy. This is, this is rough. This is just rough to watch. This is all but over on the P1, and that'll do it. I don't even want to see. The, the different the, the difference in in KD and Hill time and everything 250 to six I have never seen that big a differential except maybe in a scrim I tried to play in one time and I am just not capable at, at the same level as these players but my goodness that was tough to watch that was rough yeah I mean not a single player from the University of New Haven over 10 kills. Wow. Yeah, St. Clair looking dominant, as expected, pretty much. I mean, the team that they played prior in this doubleheader actually 3 0 this roster as well. So not too surprised the fact that St. Clair, who was able to 3 0 the team before, is, three, is, you know, already starting out the gate swinging. But we're not done with the series yet. Anything can happen, albeit it's looking slow. Still a possibility. I'm gonna predict or, a three zero right now. I'm yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I, I I I love to try and and you know argue for teams that there's a chance that there's an effort that there is always an opportunity. But a two fifty two six hard point match does not. You're you're giving me six percent. You're giving me less than six percent. It, it 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 there is in no. It I I honestly think if this New Haven team is somehow able to bounce back and win. I, I will go to the casino right now and put a thousand all on blue or the closest color to blue that I can find, which is probably green. I will put it all on green on the roulette table if somehow this New Haven team is able to win out. But after th that was a sl that was just it was not fair. It was not fair in any way, shape or form. I can't I got it. That was rough. Ladies and gentlemen, we were going to get set up for Terminal Search and Destroy, a classic Call of Duty map with a classic Call of Duty mode. So please don't you dare go anywhere. We will be right back. Buns, do you have anything to add before we go to a short break? Uh, Yeah, New Haven, good luck. Good luck, New Haven.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be loading into a terminal search and destroy. It should hopefully be an exciting and thrilling matchup as we get things underway. I really am just hopeful that this New Haven team can put up some sort of effort on the attack. Now, back on the attack, I should say, against this big player team. By OT Fun as Lord Farquaad himself striking first for the University of New Haven. Yeah, and New Haven, I, I told you, search and destroy is a different game mode. Anything can happen. We, we're definitely high on St. Clair after uh, 250 to 6. I mean, it's kind of hard not to be. Siri bouncing back with a kill of his own finally, but New Haven still has control of that A site. They got the bomb planted. And so far, so good. The University of New Haven Siri, though, finds a second kill in the round. Indeed, a 2v2. This is a chance for New Haven to set the record straight. A spot looks like to be rare in the rear. Righteous trying to stay alive. Eats that. Semtex rare and Siri clear house almost too efficiently as they take over the plane. St. Clair going to go up 1 0 and not let the first blood get to them. New Haven sadly falling in that first round. Yeah, I mean, New Haven, they, they got control of that plane quickly. You know, they have the silver lining and the fact that they don't look terrible in SNE. <laughs> they were able to get that bomb down quickly. Unfortunately, though, they had to deal with the gunny of Siri, who was able to find three in the round. So, solid stuff from St. Clair to bounce back here and now and see what St. Clair can do here on this offense. Indeed. St. Clair has been deadly, efficient, and dominant. DD, ladies and gentlemen, be careful going up against the St. Clair team. I, I would be shaking in my boots after the performances we've seen from them tonight. As shots already going out, Pepperin Yeo, Rare will score first blood on Lord Farquaad. Factions winning a hotly contested gunfight at the top of the escalators, but it's quickly a 4v2. Righteous and Bevo trying to stay up. Siri here. In the head glitch, Bevo on the high ground looking for more, but can't get it. And just like that, St. Clair taking a 2 0 lead, looking dominant once again. Yeah, dominant indeed. Factions on your final kill here. Does get spotted by the player top AC, but has the help from his teammate in pieces. Cleaning up that kill as well. 2 0 start for St. Clair once again. Head in. To the third round of this search and destroy once again new haven gonna be on offense yeah i don't hate the way that they played that a bomb site they just need to play their lives a little bit better looks like they are going to be headed back over towards this a site pushing through the terminal number three gonna get into a gunfight with rare Look, not able to find anything just yet pieces watching that back plane this time around he does spot one. Rare able to get a big first blood for St. Clair. Pushing up onto the slide. Might be able to find a second as well. Able to stay alive. Getting wall banged on a four kill streak. Siri able to trade out Lord Farquaad. And now no Bevo Kevo. Left in the 1v4. And as I say it, Rare. Finding three in the round to make St. Clair go up 3-0 here in the search. Yeah, that is a, you can't ask for a better start. Really Rare here. 5-0. and oh. Your team 3-0. and oh. Rare just putting pedal to the metal and going at least 30 over the speed limit in their search and destroy absolutely insane truly a dominant dominant performance as once again new haven is just trying to play catch up for a majority of this matchup and there is no mustard in sight so it's going to be sweet it's going to be salty it's going to be all sorts of weird and unfortunate as st Clair rotates to the burger town Factions, your bomb carrier. Shots already coming. Stuns and more going out. Might be a little fake out as it looks like St. Clair going to re-rotate over to Alpha as they catch New Haven unawares. Pieces unable to spot that New Haven player. Shots coming from Factions, but no kills yet. They rotate successfully into Alpha as, sadly, no New Haven players rotated into the plane. Rare picks up the first blood. Righteous underneath looking for something or anything to give New Haven the advantage. Rotating up, cannot win that gunfight. Siri holding in Perfume. Bevo picks up one. Looking for some more. Peace is going to take down Bevo's teammate now in a 1v3. Almost like we knew what was going to happen. St. Clair taking a 4-0 lead, Buns. 
Yeah, I mean, just very heads up play from St. Clair. They faked out the B bomb site. Two of those players from New Haven, they got aggressive in the terminal, then just pushed into long, and just perfect timing from St. Clair to wrap into the plane. Very heads up offensive round from St. Clair. Rare finally does go down, but 7 to 1 start for her. Nice stuff on the other side. EO. 0 oh, 4, not something you like to see. The rest of the team not too far ahead as well. This time around, University of New Haven going to be pushing over towards this B bomb site. Smokes are in. Siri finds the first blood on the other side of the map. Farquad, though, able to take out one. And getting aggressive onto this B site once again. The nade from Rare does not connect. Farquad going to cross over. Rare does spot him, though. Now oh, a 2v3 situation. Make it a 2v2 as no Bevo. Kevo gonna find another kill on the pieces. Rare finding the trade. No Bevo. Kevo. Could he make the hero play? Oh. around? No. Siri with the cheeky spot top window able to take out no Bevo. Kevo. St. Clair. 5 0 start in the search. Yeah, that is tough. Siri with a perfectly placed jump in the window frame. Bevo going down and just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on a match point and looking at another 6-0 for this dominant St. Clair team. Yeah, St. Clair, they've definitely been dominant. There's no better word for this roster right now in this doubleheader. And yeah, I'm, ex I'm expecting the 6-0. University of New Haven, though, they've been, they've been keeping it mixy at the very least. You know, they've been finding some kills. Yeo, though, who has the donut gonna be sticking with the donut for now probably yeah probably forever as <laughs> factions finds another kill 2v4 situation streaks are being called in i'm sure the streak doesn't work just using it for info and as we say that st Clair taking the map victory six to zero and going up 2-0 in the series yeah I, i'm there's not n not really any to which ways to say this, ladies and gentlemen. New Haven has struggled against the St. Clair team, and I don't think they're going to be able to turn it around in control. Control is notoriously difficult when compared to uh, Search and Destroy and Hardpoint. Search and Destroy, it's fairly simple. Get the bomb down, defend, or otherwise Hardpoint, just get to the point. Control, you got to manage your lives. You got to learn your rotations. You got to secure objective. There's a lot more pressure when it comes to control. And sadly, I don't think New Haven will be able to bounce back in said mode, especially after St. Clair won it 3 0 against West Point in dominant fashion. Uh, it's it's just not looking good for this New Haven team, Buns. I'm, I'm trying to find a positive note, a silver lining, a copper lining, anything. But it's just absolute dominance from St. Clair. Uh, yeah, no, you're absolutely correct. There's not really a whole lot to be said from the side of New Haven. They they look rough. There's not a whole lot of teamwork going in. I mean, are that first round, they got the first two kills, but unfortunately not able to secure a round victory, much less a map. So we will be right back. We're going to load into this map number three and control and if i'm not mistaken we do have that map set somewhere it's going to be karachi once again we saw the way st Clair played that uh last series and i'm expecting some more of the same probably going to be a hot 3-0 but guys we'll be right back to get ready for map number three
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for a Rachi control matchup between the University of New Haven and St. Clair College. Now, the Saints have been anything but saintly in this series. They have been demonic in their matchups and in their gunfights. New Haven on the attack side first. Righteous able to get there, but Siri striking first with the first blood. Pieces with the turn and burn as Righteous holds, looking for that first tick, trying to stay up. Pieces dropping in from the heavens, taking him down. I believe they did secure that first progress bar, uh, but will that matter? St. Clair has not gone down just yet. It's 30 to 25 in lives. Factions and company just laying waste to this New Haven team thus far. 30 to 24. I am, of course, joined by the OG Buns, ladies and gentlemen. I did not introduce them properly, so I do apologize. OG Buns, your thoughts on this as Righteous gets the first two kills for New Haven. Um, yeah, finally. <laughs> University of New Haven deciding to wake up. They were able to find a tick at B as well, though. So, you know, we saw all the action in St. Clair's favor, but New Haven still doing the best that they can to at least stagger the pushes, stop at the time. Try to find some progress on this offense, but they need to find some kills as well. Righteous three and three. The rest are two of his teammates only have, or two of his teammates don't have any kills. Excuse me. Yo able to find one, definitely one more kill than he had in the search and destroy. Sorry to say, but Saint Clair still looking absolutely solid heading into this control. They give up a few ticks on offense, but no worries. I'm sure they can do no wrong on their own offensive push, but. New Haven, they hop back onto A. We're gonna try to capture this point and extend the time. Yeah, and I think they will sign, finally a sign of hope for New Haven as they grab Alpha Point, 22 to 17 in lives. St. Clair has the slight edge, but this long slog Bravo is notoriously difficult, rare, with a beautiful headshot on Yeo. Lord Farquaad is there for the trades as Bevo looking for the shots. Able to take one, but cannot grab another. Siri and Rare, the dynamic duo, once again popping off over on the B side of things. Locking it down. Righteous still holding up top. Almost gets stuck with the Semtex as it'll stay up. Take down factions after they climbed up the ladder. Got him caught out. Pieces holding in hotel as there's less than a minute left on the clock. 14 lives from New Haven. They got to get on objective, and they got to get on objective quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised how close the lives are. Uh, Righteous, 7 and 5, doing pretty well for his team. Just needs the rest of his team to step it up in the slaying department. They do have four ticks. Nice little outlier for them as well. The faction's holding on to this hop up, just watching Farquaad throw those nades. Rare gets pushed out by Yeo. Big gunfight win from him, but the trades are in for St. Clair once again. A 9 life deficit for the University of New Haven. 23 seconds left on the clock. They have to make a move, but Rare holding middle, able to find one. Top fire being controlled by Siri as well. The time does end up getting stopped, though. Righteous able to hop into this point. He's been making plays for his team, but unfortunately cannot stay alive for very long. As Yeo is able to find one, but again, factions able to trade him out as well. Pieces trying to stop that push. Only four eyes remaining. Make that three as factions is able to find two. The rest of the players from New Haven going to fly in, stop this time, but just delaying the inevitable as St. Clair are looking to take this first round pretty handedly. And just like that, St. Clair up 1-0. Yes, Adley, it was too little too late. A valiant effort came alive a little bit in that matchup. Um, but like I said, just not enough as there is half a second left on the point and a perfect push in from St. Clair just cleans the slate as we rotate into round two st Clair now on the attack and there's blood in the water st Clair is the shark new haven the innocent surfer not looking good for new haven to say the least as they are down 1-0 in control down 2-0 in the series they showed signs of life in that first round so hopefully they can find those strands and put something together to stop this st Clair team some way, shape, or form. Righteous striking first, but will it be enough? Siri and factions popping off factions with another two piece as there is the wipe on New Haven. Factions going 
be able to secure at least 50% progress on this alpha point as pieces is already rotated into New Haven spawn, or excuse me, is rotating through junkyard. It was Siri rotating towards Bravo. And we're currently in New Haven spawn, but they get on Bravo. It's two stacking, uh, or a split push factions on Alpha Bravo being held down by Syrian pieces. Alpha just about secured as they are locked in 27 to 22 in lives. We'll see if New Haven can stem the tide. Sinclair looks deadly as ever, Buns. Yeah, but definitely agree. Deadly as ever. 27 to 22 is the life difference. He's just gonna hop onto this point. He does spot Lord Farquaad on that hop up. Rare with take out Yeo in the back. Pieces able to find two. Right is gonna be the last one alive, pushing that vending alley, but Pieces finds three. Can he find a fourth here on the hop up? Has the help from Rare. The two stack is in St. Clair. Looking to close this offense out. As you see these players, they're just funneling through that hop up. Eventually, uh, they're going to be taken down. But they think that they're going to be able to push through. Yeo with a nice shot onto pieces. Able to find two as well. Rare going to be last alive on this point. Almost snaps onto her, but Rare still playing her life. Stopping that time. And he has the help from Siri. Almost all four pieces. Able to clean it up. And St. Clair with a very dominant offensive round. Truly dominant, and I wonder if Pieces is a fan of the Peaches song. I might have to commission somebody to make a parody called Pieces instead of Peaches, because that's how I'm feeling about Pieces right now. Factions with the final kill, though, as I hate to say it, this is all but over for New Haven. They lost in the defense pretty wholeheartedly, and attack was even... Uh, a, a worse a worse round for them st Clair is back on the defense so i think new haven has a little bit of hope but the only one in double digits right now uh for kills is righteous who is fighting the righteous fight but unfortunately just cannot compare to the st Clair team they are clean mean call of duty machines siri with the first blood pieces right there to follow as they clear off alpha pieces with a two-piece headshot to boot and claiming the high ground, looking to rotate in with a couple of shots. Pieces, got to be careful up here as the rest of New Haven starts to rotate. Pieces somehow able to stay alive. Right, just the last one up. Gets picked off. Pieces off to a five-streak start and not showing any signs of slowing down. Oh, slow down indeed. Just pet full pressure, full speed ahead. Siri able to snap on a Yeo as well. Looking to find some more kills here. Only one has gone down for the side of St. Clair. Make that two as factions. Gets taken out by Righteous. The only one really locked in in this match. Even then, 13 and 17. Not too great, but they're making their way over towards B. See if they can at least stop the time. Delay the inevitable here as pieces. Finds. Two. Lord Farquhar going to be the last one in this closet. Factions dipping and diving. Gets out of dodge. Has some help from Rare who's chowing out with a pistol. I don't know how Factions survived there. But they were able to as Rare goes down. Pieces scoring even more kills. It's 26 to 12 in lives with 20 seconds left on the clock. And I got to say GG's. There is minimal hope that this New Haven team can win this game. Let alone take Bravo. They're able to stop the clock. Cruise missile inbound. Rare rotating in, but quickly taken out by Righteous Siri. Now looking to contest. Rotates out. Is able to dodge the shots. Looking like Neo out of the Matrix. Barqua trying to stay alive and does. Somehow New Haven is still in this one with eight and a half left on the clock. St. Clair trying to get him off of this Bravo point. Vivo holding here. Going down. As second progress bar has been made, full Lord Farquaad holding the line, but finally going down. Six seconds left on the clock. There's a three-piece from St. Clair. I don't think Bevo is going to be able to get there. Or Bevo, excuse me. And that's going to be it. That is all she wrote. St. Clair with an exclamation point. Caps lock, triple W for back-to-back 3-0 sweeps of West Point and New Haven factions with the final kill up close and personal in the no-no square. You hate to see it, Buns, but that's going to do it. 22 non-traded kills for pieces, once again showing their absolute ferocity on the map with a 3.0 KD and close to 4K damage. Absolutely insane. Righteous doing everything they could 
to help out their New Haven squad, but sadly, it just wasn't enough. I mean, everybody on St. Clair, under double-digit deaths, so insane stuff Ooh. from St. Clair. They're at the end. New Haven, go back to the drawing board, maybe watch over the VOD, see what you can do better. And, yeah, I mean, GG. St. Clair looking absolutely dominant. They are now 7-1 and one in their CCL league headed into playoffs. So GG to them, GG to all the teams that played. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's going to do it for there's us. There's not too much post-game commentary we can do on that one. <laughs> I think there, it, it was just clean cut and just dominant from St. Clair. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Huge, huge, huge shout out to St. Clair for inviting both myself and Buns to cast this evening. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you again so much for tuning in. Uh, just watch out. Uh, for any other teams facing St. Clair uh, this season, that was scary tonight, what they did to those teams. Back-to-back uh, -back 3 is very impressive, uh, to say the least. Um, my name is Big Rich X. If, uh, you can find me on all socials under that name. Uh, Buns, where can people find you? Uh, same thing, OG Buns. Ooh! So... Yeah. Be sure to check us out, ladies and gentlemen, on the X, on the socials, wherever you watch your social media content, be sure to check us out there as well. Thank you again so much for tuning in, and have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful evening. We'll catch you next time. Good night, everybody.